family welcome back to Rugop. let's level up because you know we're all about leveling up over here today i have a well and truly needed video for date night valentine's day it's date night you're thinking oh, what exactly are you going to wear well then this haul is for you because i have got some good good pieces some good good dresses this year i'm focusing on only quality purchases so i thought why not oh poly fits that cut okay so i spent a little money on o poly and i'm here to show you you know what they kind of have to offer for valentine's day this is not sponsored i spent all the money myself so i'm really hoping that everything fits well and you know i have a few options everything that i've got is in a size 12 or size medium unless i state so otherwise so i really hope you guys enjoy this haul this is gonna be a very sexy one so you know Mm -hmm. I will link everything that I got down below but without further ado let's get straight into the video so the first piece I got was a black dress because obviously you cannot go wrong with an LBD on Valentine's Day uh, this is actually part of their valentine's day collection and I believe this is the Lorient so I got this in a size 12 and it looks a bit like this uh, it is really really cute like I do love the neckline I kind of love everything about it you know it's black it's satin it's giving sexy satin vibes <laughs> so watch me whilst I model this one on this one was about 52 pounds so next i went for another little black dress this one is called a minute past midnight it looks something like this um, again you can see it has cups inside so it does support you for my bigger breasted girls and it comes down into like a corset vibe uh, and then again it's another satin kind of ruched side detail uh, it's not really the thing is with opoly yeah the material is quite thin so although it's a well-made dress um, compared to your PLTs and your misguided it's still kind of in that same material bracket um, which is quite surprising they do get a lot of high praise which is fab and i'm not trying to you know push you against opoly but honestly i could have thought they would have done a better job with the structure of this dress this was 52 pounds again so that's two dresses and i've already spent past 100 pounds like you know so but anyway as you can see like from the clips i'm inserting on it's very um nice um, i did have some issues in terms of the cupping and it fit in my boobs uh but i think if i sized up maybe that would have helped although the rest of the areas might have been a little bit big uh so just consider that if you have bigger boobs you know you may have to size up it's not as simple as just getting your normal size so sticking with black, I went for a longer kind of dress. For, you know, my more reserved kind of girls, classy queens, not every day boobs out, but out, legs out, I decided to go for a kind of cow, cow neck kind of dress. Uh, now this one has straps and I got this in a size 12 um, as well. Sorry, I'm just trying to... You know sort out the strings um but it has like a cow detail and it stems all the way to the very bottom so it is a very very long dress um it looks really nice on i cannot lie i do love like the dainty neckline um i kind of really like opoly for that like even this as well i really like um how they have like different straps you can work with as well you can always like cross it over you know make it your own kind of style so that's a very nice addition 
Um, this fit actually really well and I do like the material of this. Uh, I believe this one was about £38 but the fit like this is what I'm talking about like when it comes to the dresses like your house of CBs your mistress rocks you know you wanna if you're spending more you want to get that same quality and value in your product this is good value for money I can definitely say that like 38 pounds for a dress that I could wear multiple times I could wear it with a blazer you know I could change it up just wear it as a boot tube like you know there's a lot of different ways you could wear this so yeah i'm really happy with this i really like it so moving on to my next color red the color of love the color that represents the good old school love anyway i'm rambling but i decided to again go for another sexy dress um this is all it looks okay it looks a bit pink but i promise you it's because of the light but this is like red kind of color this is literally the same dress as the black one i showed you but it has um a different like netting in the in the middle more of like a corsetti netting type um, but it's the same sort of style um, and has the same sort of cups inside. Um, the cups are really strong though, I can't lie. And um, again, if I didn't have bigger boobs, I would definitely wear one of this or the black one because uh, I think it's really nice and it complements like your shape really well. Uh, but yeah, um, not really much to say on this one. It's similar to the black one. I just love the color and definitely a necessity for Valentine's. So sticking with red, the next dress I got was more like a burgundy kind of tone. And I have worn this dress already before. I actually got this before I got like the other bits. So before I actually went to Nigeria, um, I went on date night with my boyfriend and I wore this kind of cross um, neck dress it's long sleeve um, and it's a little bit shorter than the one I showed before this can't lie I love this dress it fits like a glove fits so nicely and it helps especially if you have bigger boobs you'll feel comfortable um, I did wear a bra underneath mine uh, when I wore this uh, just to give me some added support I don't really see the lines because it's double layered um, which is really handy um, and yeah like I was warm in this even though like it was really cold outside I felt warm um, I did wear my jacket though I'm not gonna lie this again was in a size 12 UK 12 it does have like a little strap here um, so you can always you know make it cross body and the good thing about their straps is all of them are adjustable so you can you know change them to suit your body shape your body type the kind of style that you want to go for i love this dress i'm definitely keeping this dress i'll definitely wear it again i'm not gonna lie it's a favorite of mine and that was like my first purchase from opoly so yeah really happy with that one so moving on to the browns the nudes of course you have to go with the feminine colors and most of the brown and nudes do complement like brown and your darker skin I did scroll through like almost every single dress on o poly to kind of figure out what i kind of wanted and i'm not gonna lie the site is quite easy to navigate which is good i mean i'm all for user experience i mean i work in tech now so literally that's my forte as i was scrolling i saw a variety of different shades of different nudes so i decided to pick out some different colors um, that would complement you know your brown and darker skin types i'm sure if you're a bit paler a bit more lighter in complexion these colors will also suit you as well the first dress i got was i can't remember the name of this dress but it's quite similar to uh, the cow neck however it is shorter and it has some cups uh, but it looks a bit like this i don't know if you can see i feel like the light is really um, washing it out now 
uh, but yeah, it's kind of like a tan color. And I really like this dress because I don't know if you can see, it has like boning underneath. Uh, and it looks really nice because it gives you like this hourglass figure without you even really trying, you know? It is a strapless dress, however, included has clear straps that are adjustable. I did put mine on to give me some support because I just felt like without it, I don't think I could really, you know, feel comfortable to go out all night. Uh, but again, this dress is really nice on. It hugs your body very well. And yeah, I have literally no qualms about it. This is not in the uh, Valentine's edition collection. However, Defo, a nice staple dress, and regardless of Valentine's any date night, I do believe it is very useful. Moving on to a nicer browner nude. Uh, this dress is really nice. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna keep this dress, even though I said, okay, maybe I'm gonna return like half of the stuff. But yeah, <laughs> uh, this dress I actually saw on another babe's uh haul recently um, i'd link her haul because she had some really nice pieces too um but essentially this is the dress now i don't know why i actually got this dress in a 10 very ambitious <laughs> very ambitious but i'm gonna try it on nevertheless and if it's good i'll insert some clips but if it's a no no i'll shake my head it's a no no uh, but yeah, this colour I thought is such a perfect nude for a brown skin gal. Like, even on a dark complexion, I feel like this colour would bang so hard. But anyways, um, yeah, the cups look really structured and I think that's why I really liked it because of the depth of the cup. Um, so yeah, I think maybe that's why I went for a 10. But again, it's quite similar to the previous one, but this one has straps obviously and is a bit darker. And again, lastly, I went for a chocolatey kind of dress. Uh, again, this again has the same kind of cow neck same corset kind of detail uh, but this one is just brown uh, it looks really nice on the model so that was great marketing i can't lie this is what um, opted me to get it again i do like the cups i do like the ruffles it has adjustable straps so you're literally good to go um ideally i wouldn't wear a bra with this but some of the dresses i think i may have to and just tuck my um straps in or i'll just wear like a boob tube um strapless bra but yeah this looks really nice you know i think oh i like the color mm. But yes, those are those. So moving straight on to the next one. Okay, so moving on, last few items. It's not every person that will want to wear a dress. And most of the time these days, I'm finding myself wearing jeans and just a nice top, especially corsets. Now I came across some jeans. When you see these Instagram baddies and they're always wearing like A1 certified straight leg jeans, I'm always thinking like, where do they get them from? Like, they just look so good. Like, and I told you I'm done with PRT. So the next best option was Opoly. Um, I did have a nice pair that I wore in Nigeria. If I can insert a clip, I will. Yeah. And everybody loved those jeans and those are from H&M. So I kind of wanted something similar. So I decided, let me get their split out jeans. Um, so this is in a size 12 um, and it looks like this. I just love the color of these and I think I will wear this out. Um, I'm actually going out tomorrow. So by the time this is up, I'll be going on out on that day. So I think I actually might wear this, but the cool thing about it is that at the back, it has a, a rip. Um, it's quite, you know, raunchy, very sexy. So I thought to include that in this haul, um, especially for my girls that like a 
jeans and a nice top kind of vibe. To complement the jeans, uh, I decided to get this corset. So it's in a nice, real autumnal color, a nice khaki. And it looks like this. Uh, again, this is in a size 12. Um, I do believe I will wear a bra underneath this, um, but because it doesn't really have much anything there, not even dust cups. Um, so yeah, I think I would have to wear a bra with this, but these two together, I feel like it would look so nice on, especially with my braids. So that's my fit tomorrow. <laughs> Another top I got in exchange for the corset uh, was this bad, bad top. Now, I really like this top. I really like this top. And if it wasn't cold like it is in the UK, I would definitely wear this. I was actually going to take this with me to Nigeria, uh, but I decided against it because, you know, you can't just be walking around with like nothing on in Nigeria. Like people actually judge you. <laughs> it's a nice like crop top, but it's embellished. So all the sleeves are embellished literally right to the very end um it is like kind of a split um split what do you call this i don't even know but yeah it's split at the at the arms uh at the wrists and yeah um it looks really really expensive really date night appropriate especially if you're just wearing like some plain straight leg jeans having a top that's just like oh is really lovely i decided to go for a size 14 just for an added fit you know i didn't want my whole area out <laughs> last but not least uh we have another top I actually wore this out in nigeria so some of the stuff i've had for a while um and i really like this top on so it's like a tie um tie front top and it's like in a nice beige color um but yeah it's like a really cute top this i wore I actually wore this with leggings but this with jeans very cute especially if you're like in a hot country or you're abroad you know this would be a very cute date night kind of vibe I did wear a strapless bra with this, so obviously um, that I could tie it and be supported because obviously there's no support on that whatsoever. That's pretty much everything I got. Really, really enjoyed uh, the clothes that I got from Opoly, despite the material being kind of thin, I kind of expected more for the money that I paid. But aside from that, you know, they're a good brand, you know, they have, a wide range of sizing. I guess they are from like six or maybe size four to about 16 or 14. I'll link it below in my description box uh, so I don't just hand out false info. Definitely will purchase from them again. Um, I do think some of these things I can have for a long time and I would really like to wear them again. Thank you so much, so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this haul. If you really liked what you saw in this haul, please do subscribe because I plan to do very many more hauls. Please do like, comment, share, subscribe thank you so much guys and i will see you in my next one peace